So Alder is being very gracious. Thank you, Alder, in um, being our videographer today so that I can open presents. Because so many people tell me how much they love watching me open stuff. <laughs> because I'm just honest and real. My reaction is real. So long story short, um, Jules and I have had this... We're both light workers, right? We both do the same, almost the exact same thing, but in our own way and our own modalities, right? That's what we do for a living. So um, she started out in her journey selling doTERRA essential oils and she got so big, so big, so big <laughs> that um, after a while she was just like, you know what? I don't think I want to do this anymore. So she slowly started to, you know, taper off and she still, you know, is part of it, but she makes a lot of money a month without ever really doing a lot of work at this point. You know what I'm saying? That's where the pyramid thing, I can understand why that's, you know, kind of cool. Um, so we have had this really cool relationship where she gets so many essential oils and every time she buys something, she'll get, you know, something free or, you know, it's buy one, get two free. And so she just stocks up on things, right? So we've had this exchange of energy. We're both healers, right? And light workers and mediums, but how we do our exchange of energy is she pays me in oils and so if you ever want to do any spirit work with me i'm totally up for trade um it just it just has to be something i can actually use or utilize and always always up for artwork always up for artwork always always um you know original you know kind of thing but anyway with that being said we were on the phone like two weeks ago and I said, um, oh gosh, dude, I'm like, I haven't ordered oils in forever. She's like, yeah, I was going to say something. She goes, I don't think you've ordered in like a year. I'm like, I know. I'm like, cause I was like so stocked up. And so long story short, she said, you know, go through, give me your order. And you know, I was looking through the order and I like left her a message. I'm like, dude, this is like kind of a crazy order. <laughs> I'm like, I do not expect you to give us all of this in trade. I was like, let me know what I owe you, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I said, I'll send you the list the next day. <laughs> well, the next day came and like, you know, whatever. And I had two days back to back of like, you know, a lot of light work, like hours and hours and hours. I was so tired. And then I just kept putting it off and then other things going on. Long story short, I finally sent her the list yesterday and she snickered and said, ha ha. <laughs> I kind of figured it got away from you. So she's like, I just used my intuition and I already sent you a box. It should be there tomorrow or the next day. And I'm like, what? We have been like stringing out our stuff to the point where like, you can only put in so much like filler oil where you're like, is there any lavender left in there? I don't know. And Alder's been having some issues with his teeth. And so we really, you know, we heal ourselves, you know? And so then I said, she goes, I put two bottles of lavender in there. I was like, ha! Ah! Yeah, like there are certain things she told me, but there are other things she's like, I'm kind of excited because like I just went through my arsenal as I call it. Um, she goes, I just went through everything and sent you a box. So that's the story. That's like the, so this is what I'm opening right now. I don't know what it's going to be. Just like when the last time I opened, I don't know if you saw it on um, the magical medium. I believe they're going to have me put this on Lula's life because I'm like, why would I, you know, Besides the fact that Jules and I are both mediums, you know what I'm saying. I guess I should have opened this first before. Oh, and then the cool part was is that she said that the thing that made her laugh is we've been working together for so long. She already, she kind of knows what I need anyway or what I always order, like my regular order. And okay, so what was exciting was that I've never ordered holy basil before. I've wanted holy basil so many times, but it just never came into my orbit. And she said, dude, when I fucking saw holy basil on there, she's like, I was packing it up and I, I had a bottle and I was like, I don't think she's ever had this. Why haven't we ever, why isn't she, I'm putting it in there. So it was like, so cool. It's like the chicken and the egg. It's like, did I know she was going to whatever? Um, I think there's only, she said only like two or three out of my list that she's like, I, cause I'd never ordered them before and, um, she didn't, didn't feel a pull. So I still have more coming, but anyway, so this is the box. This is the exciting, awesome. I have no idea what's in here. She's so amazing. I'm not going to read her card because I didn't get her permission. So I can see there's a card on top. And I normally like to read the card first. You know, my mom always taught me to, you know, be respectful and read the card first because that's where the sentiment is. Oh, oh, hmm. 
Oh, I think I have that already, but I'm excited. That's cool. Oh, it's just a cute little note. They love us, miss us, and and it's just a, it's to all. It's look at she's so cute. It's on paper that says "Make today amazing." I love Jules. She's like the best. I, she said I, her higher self said I could read it. It just says Lula and Alder. I pulled some staples and a few new ones to try too. The yam slash pear, the yar, the yarrow slash palm is incredible. Underlined for skin or to be taken internally. We love you and miss you guys. XOXO Jules. I mean, even her signature. She's just such a fucking badass. <laughs> I love her so much. I Jules and I have known each other for, gosh, 25 years, I think. Something. No. 20 years, for sure. 20 years. I think over 20 years. And we actually reconnected through social media because I worked at an art gallery in Chicago and she was interning when she was in college. And here we are. All these years later it's so awesome and we're like around the same like i turned she turned 40 last year and i had turned 50 uh the previous year but if almost like within the year you know what i'm saying so um it's kind of cool so yeah so i must have been if she was interning yeah i was gonna say I, I think i moved back to chicago when i was like 30 or 32 something like that <gasps> oh my goddess oh my goddess oh my goddess what the what the what they want holy crap i don't even know where to start i don't even know where to start two bottles of yum yeah this is this is this is not cheap i know how much this is we do have a bottle of this it's actually in my makeup kit because i was trying to use it on my face and it didn't work on my face but i didn't know it was good for the internally and remember um goldie we used to have a yarrow plant goldie Rest her beautiful soul. I can't. I know she'll come back to me someday, but oh, she was one of the best plants I've ever had in my life. Tough, tough plant. Fought through some harsh winters, man. But Yarrow Palm. Oh, my gosh. So we got two bottles of that, bro. That's fucking cool. I didn't know you can take that internally. I'm going to have to talk to her. She, she said, she goes, let me know if you want me to walk you through some stuff. Okay, so definitely for that. So, yeah, look at it. We're going to heal ourselves. Alder's been having some issues and I've been trying to force him to go to the dentist and he doesn't want to go and I don't want to call you out, but I get it. Teeth issues. It's not fun. And you know what? I think maybe your instincts were just telling you, babe, to wait so that we can heal you naturally. Okay. This she told me about, and I'm super excited because she said, have you ever, have I ever sent you a family essentials kit? And I was like, I don't think so. Holy shit. So doTERRA family essentials kit. I think it's like $250. But I shouldn't like put a price on it. See, that's my, I grew up, Alder and I both grew up with families that were like, I don't want to describe your family for you. Do you want to describe your own family? Financially cautious. Financially cautious, frugal. Yes, exactly. My family too. There wasn't a yard sale or a garage sale that my fucking family would ever pass up. <laughs> well, at least the women in my family, you know, my mom and my grandma. So it's like, I just learned how to get things really inexpensive. And then in the, you know, mid eighties, when I was in high school, I was totally into wearing like vintage and like clothes from like, you know, world war II and 1930s and like mashing it together with like my black Converse and, you know, doing the whole Madonna thing. And, um, so yeah, I think that it's like a poverty consciousness that, but for me, it's kind of fun. Like it was always like a fun thing. My family made it into a fun thing. But we had a situation today where we were in the grocery store, you know, I just like to be real with you guys. And, um, and it's like, yeah, we had the money, but we were like trying to like, kind of have like not go over so much money for food. And, um, and long story short, it was like, I found us like in the corner, like going through like, okay, should we put shit back? And I just like looked at him and I was like, I can't wait till we don't have to be at this point where we have to be like that. But. At the same time, I think there's something kind of cool about that too, because it's being cautious and not just being like, oh, that looks good or oh, like, oh, and then you're like, I just spent $200 on food and how much of this is actually nutritious? How much, you know, because I hadn't eaten breakfast. I like smoked weed this morning, but I hadn't eaten. So I was like, this is not a good combo when like there are so many good deals. We have this local store called Grocery Outlet. It is unbelievable like if you've seen how much um it said on our thing that we saved 148 dollars like that's the kind of it's amazing and we got really good food they have a great organic section so if you have a grocery outlet near you i highly recommend you um hit one up 
So anyway, it's just, it's been an interesting, you know, it's like Jules and I have talked about this. Like she wouldn't look at this as money because to her, you know, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to speak for her, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, who knows what deal or whatever. And like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to her. It's like, this is what spirit told her to send me. And, you know, it's so lovely. It's like, I know that this is like a housewarming. There's more in here. It's crazy. But it's, it's really getting us to look at things through a different lens and realizing like what part is poverty consciousness that's holding back the abundance that's coming to us, right? The I'm not worthy kind of concept, but you are worthy, right? Like, like that's what Jules would say to me. You are worth this, dude. Like you're worth this. You are worth this. And um, that's the thing. It's like, I think we have this tight knit thing on money and it can't flow and it can't breathe and it can't move through us naturally. And the cutest thing Alder said today was, um, I said, are we good? Are we okay? I'm like, I'm, I'm totally fine. I can totally sort this out and put more shit back. And he's like, no, we're fine. And he's like, um, what did you say? I should say, I'll, I'll not speak for you. Um, something about making more or all this work or something. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just do some more work. He's like, so work more or something. It's like, he said it in such a like, and that's the kind of fucking mm -hmm. attitude we have to have, right? Like spirit will provide for us. If we keep living in this like fear in this like negative energy, I was watching something recently that it made a lot of sense to me where they were like trying to give you the visual of energy, right? And it's like, look at if there's two people and one person looks really fucking upset and they're like, you know, it's like, and then you see somebody who's like, oh my gosh, like having the best day, like blah, blah, blah. It's like, which one would you go to? I'm going to let you think about that one for a minute, right? Because of course, there's like that side of us, right? The empathic side that's like, oh no, I hope you're okay. Like, hey, are you okay, buddy? You know, um, but you're going to go down to their vibration unless they're open to changing it. And you can stay there and stay there and stay there and keep trying to change their vibration and their energy. But if their mind is stuck and it's made up and it doesn't want to move, you know, it's like, then you might want to go hang out with this person who's getting in the groove. You know what I mean? Where they're like, yeah. And I am noticing the more that I'm like that, like the more things are just like happening beautifully. Like, I mean, I didn't even have to place the order. And then, um, and then I was like, oh crap, you know what? It was so nice that she sent it. But at the same time I was like, you know, our landlord's out of town and I was like, um, I don't want to infringe on all the people that live there. We come back from groceries and it's sitting on the chair next to our door. And we're like, oh, thank you, Brett. You know what I mean? Like, that's so nice. Like it was even delivered to my house. Like, you know what I mean? Like we're five miles down the road. He had to go out of his way and like open the gate and like come up here and close the gate. Like that's like so nice. So, um, you know, which makes me think I'm going to make him a nice little oil with this. I said, thank you. So, you know, start thinking about like what energy you want to flow with and who the people in your life Look at their energy and how it's flowing. If you have a lot of people in, in your life that have real stagnant energy or they always have problems or, you know, um, you know, I had to finally, I know this is horrible to say, but I had to finally like give up on like one of my friends because I literally couldn't watch them go through this. I mean, there was quite a few of my friends like that and I'm sure they felt the same about me. So, you know, at certain points when I was like not in my place where I am now, but it was like watching them like go through something over and over. And after the third time I was like, I'm done. Like you have been rescued more than like, I wish somebody had like done that for me. Or I wish somebody had given me that much money. I, you know, like I've always had to fight and fight and fight and work really hard and work multiple jobs. And you know, I was fucking 39 years old working two jobs and going to college. So like when people would give me excuses, unless you have children or something like people, you know, or they're, I was like, if your kids are grown and you don't have to care for another human being but yourself, I'm like, you fucking do and you work hard for what you want. And that's what we've been getting lately about what's happening with the cabin and the land. And I just feel like super blessed about everything that has been coming together. And, you know, I didn't have to do anything. Spirit told me not to, you know, just give her the list or whatever. And then I was like, look at, and within 24 hours, all of this happened. I literally gave that to her yesterday. So don't give up hope. Okay. So let's see what's in here. Doterra. Oh man, it's like a, it's like a puzzle. It's pretty though. It's a, it's a pretty little box. Is it one of those that opens? Oh yeah, it does. It's like a, okay. Ooh, <gasps> yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So we've got on guard frankincense. Oh God. Mm, I can almost lick you. I miss frankincense so much. Oh, lemon. Yay. 
Ooh, oregano. We got to get more serious about the intake of, of working with oregano. Um, what's this one? Oh, tea tree. Beautiful. Need that, need that. Breathe. Always need breathe for allergies. Oh, digestion. Yes, I needed that really bad. Oh my gosh, what's this one? Oh, peppermint. Yes. Almost. She's right. Almost every single one of these were on my list. They're just my daily, our daily essentials. Oh, deep blue. Oh yeah. We haven't had that one in a long time. That's that good massage oil. Oh, that's nice. What's this one? Lavender. Yeah, me too. Fuck yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So seriously, what the fucking fuck? Oh my gosh. I love her so much. Thank you, Jules. You are the best. She's probably, if she's watching this right now, I could hear her laugh in my head laughing because I'm so like, ah, I'm like, what the fucking fuck? Because a lot of people that I know don't swear and aren't as like, ah, like, like I am, um, but they can appreciate it, you know? It's just part of my triple fire. I'm a triple Sag in my moons in Scorpio if you're new here. Okay, what else? What, oh, another big lavender. Yeah, dude. Lavender is like... This lavender oil, especially from doTERRA, is like magic. Honestly, it really is. We've both had like pains or like something, an ache, and you just put it on there when you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning. Like like if we bite like the inside of her, it's like healed in the morning. It's unbelievable. Frankincense is like that too. I don't like to put frankincense. Oh my gosh. Th there's three bottles of lavender. She was, there's two bottles of lavender. I thought she meant this. And oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't even fucking know because when I have this much then I can spread the wealth and use it to clean because lavender kills germs it kills mold it kills everything and with you know being in the RV off the grid like I have to keep the mold like you it's like you can like wipe it down and the next year you're like what in the world <laughs> it's like the most powerful mold anyway it's not harmful it's just you know it's we live in the Pacific Northwest where it's wet and all that stuff. So, oh my gosh, I'm going to leave those last because they're in kind of fancy paper. What's this one? <gasps> I love her so much. I seriously Roman chamomile. And for those of you who know oils and know doTERRA, you know, like this is no fucking joke. Like, I don't want to call out numbers, but it is like the most unbelievable. Holy shit. Like, oh my gosh. I mean, what is this one? Oh, the holy basil. Oh my gosh. I've been dying to smell this. Let's try it all there. Here, you can reach your hand over and smell it. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys, this is where I, I want to become Wonka and invent smell a vision. Don't you want the world to smell this right now? Smell it. Oh, breathe it deep in Alder. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. I want to cry. It's, it's that, it's that healing. It's that healing. It's that powerful. Do you like it? It smells kind of like a Christmas tree. Oh gosh. To me, it smells like it's mm -hmm. sweet. It smells somewhere between basil, Christmas tree. Yes. And vanilla almost. Oh my gosh. There's more in here. Holy crap. We're almost done. You guys. Oh, wild orange. That's one of your favorites. You want to smell it right now? No. Okay. All right. You guys, what was that? Oh, that was you. Okay. All right. We got two more left. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <gasps> What's DDR prime? Oh, cellular complex. What's in it? Hold on. I, even with my glasses, I don't know if I'm going to glasses. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see this one. Okay. This says, Hmm. Boy. Oh boy. Wild orange time. Oh, nice. Uh, Molecular, you know, tea tree, uh, lemongrass, nice. Summer, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I'm sorry, you guys, but it sounds really cool. Let's smell it. Ooh, smell that. Oh. Gosh, that's another good one. There's a lot of good stuff in there. What do you think of that one? It smells like orange. It does have orange in it. And another breathe. Oh my gosh, Jules. I mean, I can't even. Like, so spoiled. Is that it? No, no, no. Oh my gosh. So spoiled. So spoiled. So spoiled. Da 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 da. I feel like Spirit left these for the. Oh, rosemary. Yes. Because rosemary is really good for the hair and the scalp. Which is why you see it in a lot of hair products. So I'm I'm gonna be working with that. 
and oh Siberian fur actually Siberian fur was one of those that she sent me before where I was like eh, mm -hmm. and then um I think I used it to help with mosquitoes last year because I found out that it's actually good to keep the mosquitoes away oh yeah that smells like a forest oh that's really nice mm, Siberian fur oh that's nice Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed our little opening unveiling. Thank you, Jules, if you watch this. Thank you so, dude, you, you know, you know, I love you. And I love you guys. And thank you for subscribing and being a part of this tribe. And if you haven't gone over there already, if you're new, go, um, there's a link below to my channel called The Magical Medium. And I do a lot of spirit work over there. And both of my channels, I do shorts and short films. So, um, yeah. If it, if it jives with you, connect with us and subscribe to this tribe. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other. Blessed be at home. I'm so blessed. Thank you. Thanks, baby. That was amazing.